Hi, welcome back to my channel Stargate Astrology. Let me unravel the mysteries of the Nagas. Who are the Nagas? Nagas are half human, half serpent, divine being. They live in the Patala Loka or it's called the Naga Loka. They have been around for millions of years. So when development started, hundred years ago many forests and jungle has been demolished for plantation and because of this humans have come across many semi-divine serpent and they killed it so it become a curse the serpent's curse and my own clients have been my testimony they have told me that their grandparents or ancestors have seen these divine Nagas and killed it. And because of that, their generation has been cursed. And I can see that in their horoscope. Their life is miserable with many illness. No progress in their life, fertility problem and so many other things which is keep on repeating by itself. So sometimes even early death also could take place. So people are mistaken for the snakes in the jungle with the semi-divine Nagas. The semi-divine Nagas are different. They are very divine. They live they are shapeshifters, so some most of the time they come in the shape of snakes and humans are mistaken and they are killed for no reason. So many people that I have come across during my career as an astrologer are affected by this ancestors sins for killing the divine Naga. So some priests have recommended to do some offerings or ask forgiveness to this divine Naga and it works because they are very compassionate celestial being. They are willing to forgive you if you are sincere. And throughout my life I also have seen a lot of clients who have this skin problem such as eczema, psoriasis, and this is also caused by the curse of the divine Naga. So development should be developed in a moderate way. When these places, sacred places are demolished, the threshold guardian of that place, which is the divine Naga, are killed and their place is destroyed then the consequences is terrible it can last for seven generation so this video is to remind us that we have to respect there are a lot of other celestial beings around us and when we go to this kind of places jungle or forest we need to pay respect to them also and behave in such a manner that we are not creating any chaos in their vicinity thank you for watching my video let's live in harmony with all the beings in this world thank you